Hi everyone. I'm so glad that I could have this chance to say something at this important moment. First of all, please allow me to express my heartfelt congratulations on the international launch of Ms. John Rose's new book, China's Great Road. I am an editor from Guangxia Daocian, which is one of the most influential media platforms in China. As an editor, I have worked with John for more than two years. We are very honored that the Chinese version of the majority of the articles in this book is firstly published on our website. From 2010 to 2021, which is the time span of this book, my colleagues and all the readers of Guangxia have followed hundreds of John's articles and we together experienced a series of events which deeply changed China and the world situation. From 2020 to the Belt and Road Initiative, from the election of Trump to the new Cold War, from the sanction of Huawei to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Every time, John always used detailed data and graphs and his professional analysis to make accurate judgments and further predictions. In this way, John has become one of the most respected and popular authors among Chinese readers. Every of his article will get millions of hits on Chinese cyberspace. And his articles have affected or even changed many people in China. I still remember in 2019, during the road in Hong Kong, that Western forces attempted to copy the practice of the color revolution in Hong Kong. Many young people in Hong Kong were deeply influenced by Western propaganda and believed that their violence was fighting for freedom. One day, I received a message from a reader. She said her son was a Hong Kong middle school student, and unfortunately, he has become one of the young people who agreed with violence and the separatism. To make matters worse, he even didn't believe any news and articles in Chinese words because he thought that could be communist uh, propaganda. His mother read John's article on the Hong Kong situation and hoped we could give her the English version which could help her convince her boy to know the truth. In the end, after reading John's article and asked his own observation and thinking, this boy finally realized what was really happening in Hong Kong and began to understand the policy of the central government. I think this true story can tell us why John's research and articles are so important to not only us Chinese people, but also much more people living out of China. During these 10 years, the rise of China is an undeniable fact for the world. But different people, different forces, have different interpretations of this fact. We can see Western countries, represented by the US, usually explain the secret of China's development as being a, a free rider or violating human rights, which is apparently ridiculous. What they want to cover up to the world's people is the true reason for China's success, which we can see directly from the title of this book. That is, China insisting on the Marxist theory and socialist practice. However, in today's world, it is quite difficult for ordinary people to know the answer behind China's achievement. Instead, they are usually surrounded by bias, fake news, ideological attack, and the forecast of China collapse, which created by the so-called international mainstream media. That is also a very tough challenge for China. On our long road of building socialism and human community, we need more understanding, more cooperation, and more and more friends. But the information gap and our relatively weak capability of international communication make it hard for people to get first-hand information and object objective analysis. During the, ten, during the past 10 years, Guangxia has tried to make every effort to change such a reality. In 2008, 
We started as a collection of several intellectuals who had the same beliefs, and now we have more than 200 colleagues and uh, the top three influential rate in China. We also have a strong alliance of a lot of brilliant international colonists, like John and several other friends in today's meeting. I believe this island, the, I believe this alliance will be much bigger and stronger with the development of the world situation. In the end, I want to thank Mr. John Rose again. As he wrote in this article, it is very pleasant that the English version of this book could be available as well as the Chinese version. I believe all the first-hand statistics, professional observation, and insightful analysis we can find in this book will to some extent solve the difficulty I mentioned above and help people around the world, especially those from global south, to overcome the information gap created by Western countries and get to know about China's road. And Guancha will always be proud of, of our role in such an encouraging course. Thank you very much.